you know, if you're always, they're all busy lately, so. Done some improvements to this internal lot, uh, halogen lot, and I'm gonna try and um, keep filling it with hot glue. Because I had a bit of fun with it off camera. Here's an ignition coil driver, and actually got a little spark inside the uh, envelope there. So I'm just gonna try, uh, I might try the starter too. Had some bit of fun with that as well off camera. Let's say there wasn't a spark across it. Got some my uh, 22 gauge Shinra cord on there. Got a love for Chinese and their funny brand names. <laughs> I'll try and zoom in a bit here. Unplug that safety first and I just uh, accidentally shock ourselves. Best way to do it. Okay. On the battery. That's better. Another go across there. On the other terminal. I need to clamp that clamp that on. Hopefully I get a spark inside it. Alright, save me a little bit. See if they get a spark in there. Ready to run. Alright, it's on the outside. Alright, hot glue ventilation is broken down. Unplug safety first. Re pack that down. Yeah, it's not a conductive track of carbon. I think I've damaged it. Alright, let's uh, do away with that and just zap the envelope. Even better, I better change this so I don't, have, so I don't get shocked. Um, I need this wire off. I don't think I'm needing this anymore. Actually, hang on, I'll leave it on there. Can't remember how I did it now. This way. Yeah, try that. There you go. Don't want to hold this while because it's going to get shocked. I'm going to get shocked straight through that. 600 volt rated, and I'm putting a lot more than that through it. You can see the little bits of filament dancing around in there. Dancing light bulb filaments in there. Yep, there's a spark inside it. I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up though, but there's actually a spark inside that bowl. Bits of the filament are dropping around. Alright, let's try the uh, floor of light starter. Total this starter off. See what happens if there's enough colour in this uh, uh, spark to make the uh, metallic ship heat up and close. Oh, a little fire shooting into the capacitor. It's like a rocket. Interesting. The capacitor is interesting how it's breaking down. Interesting, I want to put the gas going around it. And they both have now you run. Shut off. Alright, before I touch that capacitor, it may hold a charge. It'll probably be buggered, but it's best to be safe. There we go, discharged it. There wasn't anything in there. 
There we are, condensers popped. Don't zoom into that, don't need to zoom in anymore. Had some fun on it over the weekend. Save that one for a weekend video. Let's try this MOSFET I just uh, popped. Safety first. And the driver's still staying cold, that's good. Even the RGBT is cold. A bit warm. I'll finish it off on a capacitor bank over the weekend. I popped it. Okay, like it last, let's try a light bulb. Pearl light bulb. Yeah, no, I need dark enough for the camera to pick it up. But you can see the um, the actual mark, the uh, spark left behind. Captured lightning effect in a pearl light bulb. You can't get that with CFLs. It's only when I um, contacted it with the uh, electrode. And that captured lightning in a light bulb. That's cool. Okay, viewers, that'd be enough for now. Thanks for watching.